Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Q. Today we are out on a 10 miler. Longest I've gone since my injury. Hopefully it goes well. It's a beautiful morning. Two things we're paying note to today. Um, it'll be the longest I've gone in the Pegasus 38s. So keeping tabs on that. And also focusing on my cadence, trying to keep that gait, my stride a little bit smaller, keeping that cadence up. I'll check in with the metronome, maybe around five miles. I got my phone with me, but um, yeah, goal. Goal would be like 168, 169 probably, because um, I'm new to the higher cadence. Um, we'll probably end up 164, 165, but you know, that would still be a good improvement. So yeah, worried about the cadence, not worried about focusing on the cadence. Um, just trying to enjoy 10 miles because I haven't gone further than seven in like six months <laughs> um yeah and yeah the pegasus 38s we'll see how they go for 10 miles i'm assuming they will be nice all right i'll check in every couple of miles and then we'll sit down and talk about it back at the apartment let's do it <sighs> yep Five point four in, probably averaging about ten thirties. Still just hanging out. I used the metronome for honestly about four miles. I just turned it off so I could talk to you. Um, React foam feels good. I mean, I've taken it this far before, so the next four miles will be a little bit more telling. I'm assuming. I mean, I ran the Zoom Fly threes for a full marathon and a thirty miler. I'll link that up there um, but I know it's good for it um, ultimately a little bit worried about maybe the breathability of the upper it's quite a bit thicker uh, it's kind of your regular mesh um, as opposed to like the vapor fly uh, or like vapor knit whatever the Nike uh, right, racer uppers they're so thin with like the wiring in it um, so yeah I mean so far comfy um, I think I've been pretty good on cadence because I use the metronome, so I don't know. Until I get it down and I have it in my head with the breathing and the steps and kind of the rotation of the hips to help out my my lower my lower body, my legs. Don't make them do all the work. Rotate the hips a little bit, engage the core, help them out, make it easy for them. Um, so yeah, five and five and a half now. Look at us. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'll check it maybe one more time. Uh, everything feels good, hydrating. Took one gel uh, about four miles in. Then it expired about a month ago, so I'll let you know on that too. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, 145, 10 miles, 10.01, uh, one hour, 45 minutes, 12 seconds. Average pace, 1031, according to Garmin. We'll take a look at the Strava once it's up back in the apartment. Everything feels pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see when we take a look at probably the cadence. Um, I'll talk a little bit about how I felt in uh, the uh, Pegasus 38s, 10 miles, first time going that far um, overall pretty solid but yeah we'll, we'll check back in back to the apartment go over the run um, 
talk about a couple things. Why I'm wearing uh, my like ultra hydration vest for a 10 miler. Um, and we'll talk about, you know, the stats and the cadence. So see you back there. Whew. Let's go home, eat some grub, do this stuff. You know, you know. <laughs> All right, what is going on? Like I said, we are back in the apartment. I am comfortable, recovered. I've eaten a number of meals by now. That was a 10 miler, about an hour and 43 minutes, uh, elevation about 115 feet. But overall, that is the farthest I've gone since January, double digits. It felt good to get a long, uh, you know, a long run in, a longer workout, almost two hours. Uh, so we're getting back. It felt good. It felt pretty easy. A lot of a lot of really good signs for me. So yeah, thumbs up with how today went. But like I said, let's talk about the cadence, the Nike pegs, and finally uh, a little note on why I'm training, even for a 10 miler with a hydration vest. Okay, so first and foremost, a couple things on cadence. I did run for about eight miles out of the 10 with a metronome right in my chest pocket. I even recorded a little bit, hoping you could hear me focusing on the breathing with the steps, with hitting hitting with the metronome. The metronome was at 85 beats per minute. So every time you know your right foot hits, your left foot is hitting in between. So if you put one of your feet, hit it on the beat, you're doing twice the steps in that, so 170. I hope that made sense. Basically, you take two steps for every beat. That makes way more sense. So yeah, I was aiming for 170. According to Strava, I did a 161, which is weird because I've been using the metronome for shorter runs this last week, and I've been like 168, 169, but uh, honestly, the only thing that really came to mind is I did take two breaks to pee. Um, those were probably at least a minute where I was taking, you know, zero steps or one to two steps. Yeah, maybe that brought me down to like, so maybe I could say like my average uh, cadence was like a 164, 165, which honestly uh, I would feel more comfortable about and seems more realistic because I felt like I was really sticking to it. But also it is new to me. I'm focusing on you know, sticking with the cadence while also having a slight lean from the ankles, just a teeny tiny bit, not from the hip, but from the ankles, leaning forward a little bit, that smaller, quicker stride, um, rotating my hips a bit more. So I'm taking a little bit of the work away from my lower body um, and obviously, and then engaging that core. This is all part of, you know, chi running a book I'm currently working through. I'm taking, I'm Im implementing a, a handful um, of kind of the theory behind it. Ultimately, it's about being able to run, you know, more efficient. And I'm totally down to try new things like that, which is where the cadence comes in. So yeah, that, that's kind of the wrap on the cadence for this one. Okay, so in a quick note on the Pegasus 38s, I am now just over 60 miles in this shoe. And as a daily trainer um, with a fair amount of comfort and cushion, I'm really enjoying it. This was the first test going a little bit longer. Um, comfort wise, you know, as you run longer, there's more time for things to go wrong, for your feet to kind of swell a little bit. So yeah, over a longer workout, a shoe is put to a different kind of test. And at an hour and 45 minutes, the Nike peg was totally comfortable from start to finish, held true, never was gradually, uh, you know, feeling different in them. It wasn't giving different at any certain time. Uh, the fit was good throughout. Um, so yeah, it held true for a bit of a longer workout, you know, that 145. Um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we can take it for, you know, two hours, two and a half hours, and just get used to being in them for longer periods of time. Beyond that, like I mentioned in the video, React Foam, you know, it's tried and true. It's something that I'm used to from the Zoom Fly 3s. However, those are a plated shoe. So now I'm getting just that full React Foam. And, you know, it, again, it, it's a cushioned um, but firm ride. And finally, I guess breathability. Breathability was good. Um, didn't get any sort of swampiness. Felt good throughout. Felt like I could have kept going. Over an hour and 45 minutes in North Carolina uh, is pretty good, even considering that it's pretty well uh, cushioned. You know, the mesh doesn't seem, it's more than one layer of mesh in most of the shoe, aside from like just over the toe box. So for a bunch of cushion, you're also getting pretty solid breathability. With my tests so far, like I said, hopefully we can push these much further, maybe in some hotter temps in the coming weeks. Um, so yeah, more, more, more to be uh, investigated there. 
And finally, why am I running a 10 miler with a hydration vest uh, with tons of pockets and water jugs on my chest for basically one main reason. Uh, obviously a marathon is pretty long, but when you go to a marathon, uh, you generally have aid stations and things that you can grab, you know, calories, water, Gatorade, gels at. However, I'm my upcoming marathon is in New York City, the New York City Marathon, where not only is the marathon itself obviously a marathon, but I'll be leaving the hotel at like, 615 and I'm not going to start that run until 11 a.m. So I've got a lot of time where I can't, you know, have a bunch of things or resources. I have to carry what I want with me. That's going to be, you know, snacks, hydration, layers. Um, if I want to, you know, bring a, a, a light rain jacket or something that I want to stuff in there, or maybe I'm getting a sweatshirt or something that I'm just chucking at some point. Yeah, long story short, um, New York City is going to be multiple marathons in a day, like mentally. So when it comes to me training with the hydration vest, it's something I'm probably gonna run the marathon with. I'm gonna have, you know, the GoPro, the selfie stick, um, my own gels. So beyond that, I just wanna be as prepared as possible and I wanna be able to bring stuff. You, whatever I'm kind of thinking the day of. The day before, I'm gonna be going grocery shopping, getting anything that it seems like I'm gonna want and I wanna be able to carry, uh, you know, as much as possible. And I'm not I'm not blowing, I'm not trying to win this race. Uh, I'm just trying to survive it. So uh, not worried about speed, worried about efficiency and comfort throughout. Um, so yeah, that is the reason that I'm training with a hydration vest. Maybe you didn't care, but I thought I would throw that in. All right, my friends, that is all for this video. That is gonna wrap up the first full YouTube upload from the new apartment. Uh, let me know if you got anything out of the video. Let me know if you are running the New York City Marathon this year. Uh, I'll be, you know, holding it up in the, like around the 4.45 uh, total time wave. So uh, yeah, let me know if you're gonna be in the city. Let me know if you're gonna be at the race. Um, yeah, all that. Hopefully you got some out of this. Like, comment, subscribe. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, everybody, and peace. A little bit brighter than what I set up last night. Um, yeah, and we're technically shooting this in 4K. So maybe I'll have a little bit more. Honestly, what I was shooting last night, my first test with the light, I was getting a little bit of grain in the areas where it had a high gradient um, from you know highlights to shadows. And that was at 1080p never shot in 4k for YouTube honestly 